In life, we only get one chance to make a first good impression. For properties, it's the same thing. As a seller, you want to concern yourself to make sure that your property shows at its best every time a buyer walks in through the door or even from the outside from the curb appeal. This is going to help you maximize the price but also make it sell a lot faster. So there are four items that we need to explore in this video that are extremely important as a seller for you to make sure that you sell your property at the highest price and the fast. Unless you are selling a property that is advertised as a handyman special or a property that is to be torn down or redeveloped in one way or another, then you don't need to concern yourself with repairs. Otherwise, it's extremely important to understand that when a buyer looks at a property, the smallest item of neglect or repairs are going to look like big, expensive items. And the buyers, as they walk through the property, are going to start adding up things. Oh, I need to do redo the paint. This is cracked. This is broken. This is chipped. This is this. This is that. And then eventually they walk out of the property and say, this property needs too much work. So it's very important as a seller that you go through your property with your agent and make a list of the things that and most of these things are going to be cosmetic as a matter of fact, but you make a list of these items that need your immediate attention and take care of them. You will be surprised how a few hundred dollars go, how far these few hundred dollars go because in the mind of the buyers, it makes a huge difference to look at something that's been freshly painted or having stains on the walls and peeling paint on the baseboard. It is a fact that when a room is cluttered, it looks smaller. This makes your home more difficult to sell. So the idea here is for you to go through your house and remove all of the excess furniture and personal items, rent a mini storage, put everything in there until you sell the property. The advantage of doing it this way is that you keep, you get to keep your personal items and you get to keep your favorite piece of furniture and you still sell your house and make your house look a lot larger. We tend to organize and decorate the space that we live in to our tastes and preferences. These may not be the taste and preferences of the buyer who's going to end up buying the property from us. So it's very important that we neutralize the space so it appeals to a wider audience. These are the items that you need to take care of. Paint color. We all react differently to colors. Some people like blue, some people like white, some people like red, some people like orange. It's extremely important as a seller that you neutralize the color so that it appeals to a broader range of an audience but also leaves to the imagination of the buyer what they could do with the space. So if the, the wall is painted beige or white, it's easier to imagine what could happen to the room if you painted it orange. But if I don't like orange, and I walk in into a room and it's painted orange, I'm going to say I don't like the room, I don't like the house, and I walk away. We all enjoy being surrounded by pictures of loved ones and great memories. However, when you're selling the house, it's important to realize that these pictures become a distraction. The buyers typically stop to look at the pictures, ask questions, and this detract from the whole showing experience. So it's very important to remove these items so that way the buyers are not distracted and they can go through the house and really look at what's important in the house. While respecting your religious choices, it's important for you as a seller to realize that the eventual buyer of your home might not be of the same religion and therefore it's very important if at all possible to go through the home and remove any religious artifact. 
Furniture is a crucial part of staging. But in general, what you want to make sure of is that your furniture is not dirty and it doesn't have any signs of obvious neglect or abuse or damage like rips or tears or stains. It's also important to realize that your furniture must match the style of the home or the condominium that you're trying to sell here. So if you have a modern condominium in a modern building that's on the beach, typically you will see modern furniture in that space. You will not see traditional or a Louis XVI type of furniture in that condominium. If you are selling a traditional home, then maybe more neutral style of furnishing is applicable. Artwork is important because it helps embellish the space, but at the same time, what we want to avoid is artwork that becomes too distracting or offensive. And what I mean by offensive is some people have nudity. You cannot assume that the home is not going to be shown to somebody who's going to have children with them or somebody who gets offended by nudity. So it's important to neutralize that aspect of the artwork. Also, if you have very expensive artwork, it's also another aspect of the showing where now suddenly the buyers are stopping at every piece to look at the artwork instead of focusing on the house or the condominium that they're looking at and now it distracts the buyer from the main purpose of the visit which is to actually determine whether this place is a suitable purchase for them. Before your home is shown as a seller you need to make sure that it is free of offensive smells, bad smells, and that it is clean. Items that are typically neglected include countertops, windows, floors, cabinets, and pet litters. If you have a cat, it's extremely important that you clean the litter box before each showing. So this way the buyers are not offended. If somebody's a dog lover and they walk in and it smells like a cat, well, it's a very bad impression. It also, generally speaking, if the property is not clean and it doesn't have a good smell to it, people are going to wonder what else is not taken care of properly by the current seller. Mm -hmm.